and I'm going to show you how I paint an abstract painting. Uh, these are my paint brushes that I'm using. I'm also going to be using a few palette knives, and these are my colors. So I've got yellow, orange, red, purple, blue, and white. These are my palettes. As you can see, I have white on my plate. The reason I have got white is so that I can make uh, colors different shades and make colors lighter. As you can see, I'm going to take some white and take some blue and then mix them together and it creates a lighter blue. Before I start painting, I want to make sure where my center of focus is going to go. Your center of focus will either go here, 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 or here, due to the law of thirds. Now, I'm going to do my center of focus over here. Now I'm going to finish my center of focus, so I'm going to put some red by my blue. They're also opposite sides of the color wheel, which means that they go very well together. Now I want you want to put a color in three different spots. So I think I'm going to put some more right up here, and I'm going to save the third spot for when I've done a little bit more so I can see where I want to put it. Right now I'm just trying to add a little bit of detail to try to make it pop a little bit more. I think I'm going to put some of this stuff over here. I've made a lighter orange, which I think will go good by the center focus in here. So now I'm going to put some yellow into the picture. Doing abstracts are fun, but they're not always easy. You still have to follow the rules of composition, and you still need a center of focus. So there is such thing as a bad abstract. And uh, the way that you can tell that you have a center of focus is if the first place that your eye is drawn to, that is your center of focus. And you don't want it to be here. You definitely don't want it to be the corners and don't want it to be the middle. Those are the worst spots for your center of focus to be. These are some of my older paintings from when I was little. I did those when I was about three to seven. And I am now nine and still painted. And always remember to blend your colors into the other colors. Because if you don't, it will just look like a color with another color and another color and another color. Also, if you blend them, it gives you soft edges, which looks very nice. So I'm thinking of doing red here and maybe a lighter red, maybe mix with some orange. Yeah, I'll try that. Uh, uh, every now and then you do need to just spritz your paint, give it a quick, quick spritz so it stays moist and you can reuse it, you can use it again. <laughs> Remember to spray every few minutes and remember to keep your brushes when you're not using them in the water 
so that the paint doesn't dry up and you have to go out and buy new brushes. And for up here, I'm thinking about doing an orange. done now and I chose to do a paler yellow here and uh, yeah after this I'm gonna add in little detail so you know you always want to add in some some stuff major shapes, it's time to do the little details. That's where your palette knife comes in handy. If you put paint on here and you put it up against, you can make nice choppy patterns. If you put some on the top, you can even make it nice pointy. to being finished. I don't want there to be too much other crazy stuff happening because I want the eye to be drawn to the center of focus, which I was able to manage to keep over here. So, the last thing is the edges. Goodbye and thank you for joining me on this tutorial on how to do an abstract painting. I hope you enjoyed it and please subscribe to Marianne Broom on YouTube. Goodbye. Hello, I am Kate Medallia. I'm here to show you how to paint an abstract. I forgot what I was about to say. Goodbye. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs>